In this video, I'll show you how to download VirtualBox on Windows 10 and then go and install it. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it and it helps get this video to more people. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've gone and got an internet browser as we need to go and find the download for VirtualBox. So to do that, what you want to do is open it up. So I'm personally using Google Chrome and uh, let's get into this and do make sure you watch this whole guide as well as I'm showing you different steps throughout. Um, so just make sure you keep watching. So let's come to Google or whatever search engine you want and simply go and search for VirtualBox. Now I'm going to be showing you the official download site as well. So search VirtualBox and all you want to do is come to virtualbox.org. This is currently um, the domain for the site, but it may change in the future as well. So there we go. We're now here. So as you can see, it goes and explains what it is. If you didn't know what it is, it's basically a way you can go and run operating systems within sort of a sandbox on your computer. It's really useful and it does have many uses. So what you want to do is either click here or you can come to downloads if you want to see a bit more information. And once you're in the downloads, then all you want to do is go to Windows Hosts, click here, and it's going to go and drop the download. But of course, we've got OS X, Linux and Solaris as well. And of course, currently it's 6.1, but this is probably going to be different in the future for you. Um, but just make sure you go for the latest version, which is currently here. Um, but yeah, it should be a similar sort of download and install process, even with the newer version. So here we go. It's about 100 megabytes as well. Um, so this is going to depend on your internet speed of how long this takes. But we'll wait only about 10 megabytes left now. And then we can go and get into installing this. So it's now finished. So I'm going to go and click it. And then you may get a, a security pop up on Windows. I didn't this time. So I'm going to close off Chrome. We no longer need that website. And here we go. So let's go and run through the install. So go and click next. And then it's going to go and give you a ton of information here um, about what it's going to be installing. And then you can go and choose where you want it to be. So I want, it's currently on my C drive, which is fine. Um, but you can go and change it by clicking browse. And it's going to use about 217 megabytes, it says. So then go and click next. And you can go and choose all of this. Um, so personally, I don't want a shortcut on the quick launch bar um, or start menu entries. But apart from that, everything else is good. So I'm going to go and click next. And then as you can see, um, it's going to go and reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect you from the network. Just to consider that. Um, so you're going to have to go and click yes, but it is, you are going to be temporarily disconnected from the internet. So go and click yes. And then I'm going to go and click install. And here we go. It's now installing it. And uh, yeah, we'll just go and wait a minute. Hopefully it won't take too long, um, but I'll probably catch it with you properly uh, once it's finished installing. And I'm showing you sort of the next steps of going and actually using it. So now I did just get a Windows security pop up um, and then I've got this as well. So I'm going to go and click install. And there we go. And yeah, I got a Windows Crudy pop up and then the bar started moving across. Um, so just um, to make that a note. So as you can see, it's now finished installing and I'm going to go and have this ticked. So it's going to go and start VirtualBox as soon as I click finish. So now it's going to be launching it up and here we go. So here is VirtualBox. Um, so you probably know what a rough idea what it is. And I'm going to show you sort of how to get basics, sort of, sort of the basics of getting started with it. So here we have it here. We've got tools, we've got preferences, import, export, new and add. So the first thing you want to do is go and click new. And as you can see here, we can go and name and make choose the operating system basically. So I'm just going to go and do test. And then here we come down, uh, we've got the machine folder. So this is where I guess the machine is going to be stored. And then you can go and click on type. We've got Windows, Linux, Solaris, BSD, IBM, Mac, OS X and other. And then we've got the version as well. So I guess you can actually go back to Windows 98, which is really cool, um, and Windows 10. Um, and then you can go and click next. And then you go and choose the amount of RAM um, and then you go and click next and you can go and get started with it. And uh, yeah, you can go and use it as a virtual machine. It's really useful. Like I said before, it's sort of a sandbox. But yeah, if you found this useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.